At some point this offseason, it is very likely the Miami Marlins will trade franchise player and reigning NL MVP Giancarlo Stanton in an effort to shed payroll. Stanton's contract is massive. He's owed $295 million from $201,827 and removing that from the books would help the team's new ownership group get back into the black. Of course, Stanton's contract is an obstacle to making a trade because not every team can afford him, either short or long term. Furthermore, Stanton has a no-trade clause and he controls his own destiny. He can pick his next team, which is something the Marlins must consider. Stanton has reportedly let the club know which teams he's willing to join, however. Sources Giancarlo Stanton's camp has given Marlins a list of teams to which he would accept trades. Dodgers are among them. To this point, Stanton has not formally rejected any trades. At MLB at MLB Network, John Morosi at John Morosi November 27, 2017 Sources Some teams pursuing Giancarlo Stanton believe Dodgers are his first choice, and that he will be reluctant to approve other destinations until there is clarity with LA. At MLB Network at MLB, John Morosi at John Morosi November 27, 2017 at ISNT Terribly Surprising Stanton's first choice is the Dodgers, reportedly. He grew up in Los Angeles and the Dodgers are a bona fide World Series contender. The Dodgers offer Stanton a chance to play at home and contend for a World Series title right away. Who wouldn't want to join Clayton Kershaw and Corey Seager and Cody Bellinger? The Dodgers, as deep as their roster is, wouldn't have much trouble making room for Stanton in the outfield. Jock Peterson played his way onto the bench late in the season. His big World Series performance could earn him another look in 2018 though and Chris Taylor's versatility gives the club options. Squeezing Stanton into the lineup would be a piece of cake. The Marlins know Giancarlo Stanton is willing to go. USATSI The problem for the Marlins is building enough leverage to get a good return. As much as they want to clear payroll, I can't imagine trading Stanton for fringe prospects in a straight salary dump is a consideration. There figure to be enough teams interested that the Marlins will still get a quality return with several good prospects. Possibly several great prospects. One thing Miami would have going for them in trade talks with the Dodgers is reported interest from the Giants. San Francisco has been after Stanton all winter pitting the NL West rival Dodgers and Giants against each other in a bidding war or the AL East rival Yankees and Red Sox, or the NL Central rival Cubs and Cardinals would be the best-case scenario for the Marlins. For now, the Marlins have time on their side. The offseason is still relatively young, so they can be patient and let the Stanton market develop. That they now know which team Stanton will waive his no-trade clause to join makes the front office's life a little easier. There is no more guesswork involved.